the world's best management thinkers, W. Chan Kim and Renee Maborn. Question everything you thought you knew about what it takes to be successful strategically in this book that has been a bestseller for years. Blue Ocean Strategy, which has been updated with new information from the authors, is known as one of the most important and influential strategy books ever written. It claims that cutthroat competition leads to a bloody red ocean of competitors fighting over a shrinking pool of profits. Based on the study of 150 strategic moves made by companies over more than 100 years and in 30 different industries, the authors say that long-term success doesn't come from fighting competitors, but from building blue oceans, which are untapped new market spaces that are ready to grow. Blue Ocean Strategy shows how to get rid of the competition in a planned way and gives principles and tools that any business can use to build and take advantage of its own blue oceans. This new version has a new introduction by the authors, which says, Help! My ocean is turning red. Updates on all the cases and examples in the book, and two new parts and an expanded third one, Alignment, Renewal, and Red Ocean Traps, that answer some of the most important questions listeners and readers have asked over the years. W. Chan Kim and Renee Maborn's book, Blue Ocean Strategy, Expanded Edition, how to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make the Competition Irrelevant is a guide to making new market space and making the competition useless. The book has four parts, and each one is about a different part of Blue Ocean Strategy. Part 1. Blue Ocean Strategy Chapter 1. Making Blue Oceans This chapter explains the idea of Blue Ocean Strategy which includes giving customers something new and different that no one else is offering. The chapter talks about the advantages of Blue Ocean Strategy and gives examples of companies that have used it effectively. Chapter 2. Analytical Tools and Frameworks This chapter talks about the analytical tools and frameworks that can be used to create a Blue Ocean Strategy. These include the Strategy Canvas, the 4 Axe Framework, and the 6 Paths Framework. Part 2. Formulating Blue Ocean Strategy Chapter 3. Reconstructing Market Boundaries This chapter looks at how to change the borders of a market to make room for new markets. It talks about the different kinds of market barriers and gives cases of companies that have broken through them successfully. Chapter 4. Don't look at the numbers, look at the big picture. This chapter talks about how important it is when making a blue ocean plan to look at the big picture and not get stuck on the numbers. It looks at the different kinds of people who are not buyers and how to make something valuable for them. Chapter 5. Reach Beyond Existing Demand This chapter looks at how to make new market space by going beyond current demand. It talks about the different kinds of people who don't use something and gives examples of companies that have made new demands. Chapter 6. Get the Strategic Sequence Right This chapter talks about how important it is for a Blue Ocean plan to have the right strategic sequence. It looks at the four steps of the strategic sequence and shows how businesses have used them successfully. Part 3. Executing Blue Ocean Strategy How to Get Past Key Organizational Obstacles This chapter talks about the key cognitive resource motivational, and political organizational hurdles that must be overcome for a Blue Ocean plan to work. Chapter 8. Build Execution into Strategy This chapter looks at how to build execution into strategy by making sure the structure, processes, and culture of a company are in line with its Blue Ocean strategy. Chapter 9. The Sustainability and Renewal of Blue Ocean Strategy this chapter talks about how to keep the Blue Ocean plan going and keep it fresh, including how to make it hard to copy, change the Blue Ocean over time, and build a Blue Ocean mindset. Part 4. Beyond the Blue Ocean Chapter 10. How to Use the Blue Ocean Strategy This chapter talks about companies like Cirque du Soleil, Yellowtail, and Southwest Airlines that have used the Blue Ocean strategy effectively. Chapter 11. Conclusion. This chapter gives a summary of the book and talks about how important it is in today's fast-changing business world to create uncontested market space and make the competition unimportant. In Blue Ocean Strategy, Expanded Edition, 
how to create uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant, W. Chan Kim and Rene Melbourne give a complete guide to making new market space and making the competition useless. The book talks about everything from the analytical tools and models used in Blue Ocean Strategy to the most important organizational problems that must be solved in order to use it successfully. The writers give clear explanations, useful tips, and examples from real life to help readers understand how important Blue Ocean Strategy is and come up with good plans for making market space that isn't already taken. The book is helpful for any business that wants to come up with new ideas and stay ahead of the competition. Thanks for watching our Amazon book review. If you found our review helpful and you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we've included a link to it in the description below. By clicking on that link, you'll not only get more details about it on Amazon, but also support our channel at no cost to you. So go ahead and click that link to grab your copy of the book and dive into an exciting reading journey. Happy reading and thanks for your support.